How's it going, everybody? My name is Steven. I'm a superintendent based out of New York. It's about one week out from my move to Japan, specifically to the city of Yokosuka. Can't wait to take you guys along the journey. Follow along. I just finished my last day of work here at 50 Hudson Yards. That's the building right there. Really excited for what's to come, but really will miss the teammates working in the city and just being here. Can't wait for the next two weeks as we're pre preparing to go to Japan. Um, here we go. Got the new pants just delivered today for work. Putting them in. As you can see, I'm about, call it 75, 80% of the way through. Should be done by two days or so. Well, it's the night before, uh, finally got it all packed. Two suitcases, one carry-on, and one backpack. Tomorrow, we fly out at seven o'clock. See you then. Good morning, uh, we just got to the airport. I'm waiting in line to get my badge checked in. Waiting to get checked in now. Walking to the gate now. Thank goodness for TSA pre-check, or I would have been in line for another hour. Um, Definitely a bittersweet morning this morning. Said bye to Amanda, um, but we're both on some really awesome things in our, in our careers. And, uh, looking forward to it. Just landed. Um, we have a very stringent COVID policy here. Still with the masks on. Having a lot of people have submitted before that. Can't wait. Good morning. It is the next day. I uh, just spent the night at the hotel uh, packing up right now, actually moving into the apartment later today. Thankfully, it's actually across the street in Yokohama. Just want to kind of talk through the process of how I actually came about making this decision with my wife uh, to move out here and uh, take on this new opportunity. I grew up in Taiwan. So actually not too far from Japan, like four hours south of here by plane. So I knew what it meant to work and grow up outside of the United States. Ever since leaving Taiwan many years ago, I've always told myself that if there was ever an opportunity for me to work internationally, I was going to do it. That was one of my checklists. No matter what career I had ended up in, I was going to make sure that that was actually going to happen. And... Part, part of my decision making of actually when I first joined Gilbane two and a half years ago was really like knowing that they had international work and they were open to uh, employees relocating, um, learning and getting different experiences outside of the United States. So a couple months ago, back in February, I had an opportunity to talk to um, Tej, who was the business unit leader for the federal division. And really kind of went through the process. It was just a very, very much an introductory call, but I loved what I heard. And I was kind of just like, all right, let's, uh, let's see when the opportunity comes up. And lo and behold, it actually did. August, I get the phone call saying that, hey, Japan's an opportunity, would I be interested? And obviously the answer was yes. So here we are, um, finally achieved, checked off one thing on the list of moving out and, and doing uh, international work and now that it's it's actually happening and very very excited so i had some free time today um i'm gonna make a, a practice run to work so that we're always prepared so it's the night before my first day of work here in japan i'm just packing my computer making sure i have all my documents ready to go and uh wanted to take the time to talk about what it means to work for Yobain. It's almost three years now uh, and not a day goes by where I feel supported and challenged by both my peers and my managers for the better. Um, even during the interview process, the interviewers would always tell me, hey, you're, you're, you could be joining a company that's truly family first and boy were they right. Um, every manager that I've had the chance to work with here 
has cared and listened about what I had, you know, what I wanted to do in my career. And they were always there to point me in the right direction. They would ensure that I would be put in difficult circumstances, difficult situations to, to watch me grow and learn. Uh, but they were always there to assist. They were always, always ready to um, provide constructive, uh, constructive criticism uh, when that time comes. So as a result of that, I've truly felt that I've grown leaps and bounds. Uh, so when the time for Japan came up, the, the discussions, the early discussions, uh, I didn't hesitate to pull my managers aside and talk about what they thought about the opportunity. I asked them to give me reasons why I should go. They also gave me reasons why I should consider not to go. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they made sure that I was I was the one making the decision, and that I was that, that I was satisfied with that decision. And to know that I had their support it really meant a lot. And it's just further to inspire me to. Be a manager that some that is there for, that is there for their employees in their both their personal and career decision making, you know, questions if if it does come up, and uh, I only hope to be like them one day. So that's that, and uh, you'll see my first day tomorrow. I'll document some of that tomorrow as well, and uh, we'll see how it goes. site tour with some fellow new employees as well. This is just one part of the project, the athletic fields. So this is the high school, just started as well. Um, current site work includes uh, silt fencing and just finishing up the, the site perimeter fence. So here we are. Again, on the high school site, you can see the boards, the ST, where the STAs are gonna go. And uh, believe it or not, this is the site office. Um, quite honestly, haven't seen anything like this before. Uh, we're on the third floor. Uh, first floor is where we have the subcontractor take a break. So I successfully wrapped up my first week here of work at Japan. Uh, very much appreciate it for uh, following along. Uh, here's to a great three years and to see what the future holds for us. Take care.